After a month of silence, Amanda the Adventurer finally updates to version 1.3 and in it, we got a lot of new content and I have to say, this is probably the best update ever for this game. But as usual, with new updates comes in new secret, lores, and things that just didn't make any sense. So in this video, I will explain what happened in this new update alongside with this new tape as well as discuss some theories here as well. With that being said, let's begin the video. The new tape starts off with Amanda talking about treasure in the forest and Woody looking a bit uncomfortable. At their back, there are three shapes on the ground, an X, square, and circle. This is where the treasure are hidden. Once the player picks up the right treasure location, Amanda brings out three items. Note that these three items may appear random at first, but they aren't, which we will get through later in this video. Picking up the shovel as the right answer, Amanda praised the player before Wooly suddenly bursts in anger, telling the player that he had enough of her and told us to burn the tape. This upsets Amanda who ended the tape before Wooly could finish what he said and if anything the third episode told us, it's likely that Wooly was killed. The tape then cuts off to a non-cartoonic video where a man was holding a VHS tape in the woods and was about to burn the tape. The person's action indicates that he watched the video and listens to Wooly's warning, therefore he decides to do what Wooly has asked him to. However, as he's about to burn the tape, the man could be heard groaning and his body shakes uncontrollably, as if he was possessed by something. Finally, after an intense struggle, the man stored the lighter away and took the tape back to his car. The last scene we get to see is where the man talks to someone on the phone, a shot of the tape and a box with a label that says destroy tapes, do not watch can be seen. This is the end of the secret tape. Now, the new update 1.3 brings in a lot of interesting things, specifically answer towards the theories that we as a community have come up with. To better understand this new update and its significance towards Amanda the Adventurer's lore, I am going to break down one by one of these new things so that you'll understand it better. The first half of the new tape starts off with Amanda sounding excited about finding treasures in the forest. She even had the necessary tools to find the treasure. Now I want you to pay attention to everything she said because a lot of them are disturbing and connected to the previous two versions of the game. You're right! The treasure map said the woods. Let's go! Our friend the GPS said that X marks the spot. Can you see where the X is? I brought a crowbar, a rope, and a shovel. We already used the crowbar for the door. We used the rope for- And now we only have the shovel. First up is the location of the treasure. Amanda mentioned that it was already marked on the map, but we were never even given a map in the first place. Well, that's because the map that she mentioned was already given to us in the previous version. The version 1.2 secret tape shows us a location on a map with a red circle on it. Next one is the three objects that Amanda suggested, a crowbar, a rope, and a shovel. Why did she suggest this tool? I can understand that the shovel, but how does a crowbar and a rope helps in digging up the treasure? Well, the answer is, it don't. In fact, the answer is a bit dark. To understand the tools listed by Amanda, we have to go back all the way to version 1.1 where the first secret tape was given to us. In that version, we were shown three pictures, a house, a forest, and a meat processing factory. What does this picture have to do with the newest version you ask? Well, it's what Amanda said that caught my attention. I brought a crowbar, a rope, and a shovel. We already used the crowbar for the door. We used the rope for And now, we only have the shovel. The crowbar was used to smash open a door and the rope while well cut off mid-sentence. You can faintly hear the word pun in the end, which highly suggests that the rope was used as a murder weapon. So far, things are making sense, but what about the meat processing factory that we've seen? How does that fit into all of this? Well, here is where things connected. Previously, we theorized that the meat processing factory is where Wooly was killed and that his body is being put among the rows of animal carcass. Well, that theory finally made sense with this new update and oh boy, I hope you're prepared for this. So gathering all of this information, here's what happened in order. In version 1.1, we were shown three pictures, a house, a forest, and a meat factory. The house is where the two siblings that we've seen on the picture lives. At some point, someone broke into their house using a crowbar and killed them with the ropes. 
This is evident with what Amanda said. I brought a crowbar, a rope, and a shovel. We already used the crowbar for the door. We used the rope for... We already used the crowbar for the door. Their bodies are then buried in the location we got in version 1.2. That place is coincidentally similar to the second picture we got in version 1.1. After that tragedy happened, presumably the soul of those two siblings did not find peace and tried to seek revenge. At some point, their soul found their way into an old VHS tape and there, a dark entity also manifests itself, cursing anyone who watched it until the end to be killed by it. While it managed to possess Amanda, Wooly on the other hand is free, so he tried to oppose the entity. This brings us to the latest secret tape we got in version 1.3. Wooly had enough of Amanda or the entity because at that time she was already possessed by it. If he had to die to end all of this, then so be it. Wooly did something that a lot of us want him to do in the first place. He grows some balls and warns the player about the danger. And as we expected it, the entity killed him. Wooly's fate was shown to us as a pile of hanging meat at the meat processing factory and the lump of wool at the ground in episode 3. Now before we get to the end of the video, there's one last thing that we need explanation and that is the second half of the secret tape. We see a man in the woods with a VHS step and a lighter. Now at the end of the first half of the secret tape, Wooly finally fight back against Amanda or the entity, going against her by warning the player to burn the tape. The second half of the tape, we see a man walking in the woods indicating that the guy is the player all along and that he's there to burn the tapes after getting the warning message from Wooly. However, as he's about to burn the tape, something possessed him and stopped him from doing that. Who is doing all of this? Well, as we've theorized it before, something is controlling Amanda and that something is the entity. Now what if the entity become powerful enough to project itself into the real world and stop the player from doing harm to the tape and controlling him at the same time. As we've seen at the end, we see the man talk to someone on the phone lying about destroying the tape and another person who also knows the existence of the tape believing what he said. What if at this time the entity already possessed him fully? That explained him lying to that person. The cycle continues. And that's the new tape and update 1.3 explained. I said this update gives more answers than questions. I feel like the devs want to end the speculation of is Wooly alive at the end or not? Did he run or not? Because a lot of us thought that Wooly survived and this update kinda tells you that he's dead. Amanda or the entity wouldn't take this insubordination too kindly. Anyway guys, do let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more horror gameplays, theories, and occasional story explained here and there, then don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss it. I'll see you all again next time with a different video. Until then, stay awesome guys. Goodbye.